So for this question, we need to find out the bond order for those three molecules. Then we should be able to choose the correct choice. Okay, this is the equation for calculating bond order. That equals one half of bonding electrons subtracted by anti-bonding electrons. Now let's check the uh, number of uh, valence electrons for O2 molecule. So we have uh, two oxygen. Each oxygen has uh, six valence electrons. Therefore, oxygen molecule should have a total of 12 electrons. Okay? And now, let's take a look. So the first two will occupy, of course, the lowest valence uh, energy level, so sigma 2s, then followed by the anti sigma 2s, all right? So, so far that's four electrons, and then the next four will go to the um, pi 2p orbital, okay? So that's eight already. Then the ninth and the tenth will go to sigma 2p. So far, up to this point, it's 10 electrons already assigned, but we still have two more. Okay, according to Hans rule, remember? So we can only fill one electron in one of the two identical anti pi 2 b orbital. Is that right? So uh, with the same speed. Okay, now let's take a look. The number of bonding electrons, sigma 2s, that's a 2, pi 2p, that's another 4, that's a 6, and then sigma 2p, that's 8, total of 8. All right, the bond order equals 1 half, that's a 2, okay, um, 1 half, times the number of uh, bonding electrons, that's A, and then the anti-bonding, we have sigma star here, that's a 2, and then pi 2p star, that's another 2, that's a total of 4, all right? And this gives the bond order for O2, positive 2. So this is for O2. Now let's uh, take a look at the uh, flooring. The total number of valence electrons for our uh, flooring, 2. We have 2 flooring. Each carries 7 valence electrons, and that should be 14 valence electrons. Okay? And as we can see, again, it will start feeding the uh, lowest uh, energy levels. So in this diagram, first, sigma 2s, sigma star, 2s, pi 2p, sigma 2p. Okay, so far you see that's a 2 plus 4, that's a 6, plus another 4, that's already 10. And then there's still 4 electrons left. That's why they will feel this uh, pi uh, 2p star, the anti-bonding uh, orbital, okay? So now let's look at the uh, bond order. Again, for uh, fluorine, I have two, one half bonding. Okay, we have sigma twice, that's a two, pi 2p. Plus 4, that's 6. Sigma 2p. Plus 2, that's 8. 8 subtracted by, okay, anti bonding electrons. Sigma star, that's 2. Pi 2p star, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 
and then the bond order for F2 for fluorine is 1. Okay, oxygen is plus 1. Flor no, oxygen, we just calculated that a while ago, plus 2, and now fluorine is a plus 1. Now let's work on nitrogen. Total number of Total number of uh, valence, electrons, two nitrogen each has five valence electrons, should have a total of ten valence electrons. And as you can see here, yes, we do have ten, all right, starting from uh, sigma 2i's. So the lowest one among uh, all of those. Uh, showing in here. Okay, now let's calculate the bond order. One half bonding electron subtracted by anti bonding. Bonding sigma 2s, that's 2, pi 2p. That's 4, already 6, sigma 2p, so that's 8. Okay, 2 plus 4 plus 2, 8 bonding electrons. Anti-bonding, okay, look at those four molecular orbitals. The only anti-bonding orbital is this uh, sigma 2s star, 2 electrons, anti-bonding electrons. And that should give us plus three. Okay, so now we are ready to solve this problem. Based on the calculation we just did, the bond order for oxygen, positive two, fluorine, positive one, nitrogen, positive three. We need to look the order like this. And now, when we look at the choices, as you can see, C matches what we have. Positive 2 for oxygen, positive 1 for fluorine, positive 3 for nitrogen. That's exactly what we have in here. So therefore, C is the correct answer.